To set up your electroforming bath, you need 8 gauge copper wire, a 1 liter beaker, electroforming solution, a pulse bar, it can be copper wire or a piece of wood, a rectifier, and the object you want to electroform attached to copper wire. Here I'm using 20 gauge copper wire. Take your 8 gauge copper and cut 3 to 4 coils of wire. This should fit into a 1 liter beaker. You can shape it with your hands to make it fit your tank. Place your wire into the beaker and push it down to the bottom. Make sure you let the top end of your copper stick out over the edge. Carefully pour your electroforming solution into your beaker. Make sure you wear safety goggles and gloves for this step. Next, we're going to prepare the bus bar. To do this, you can either take copper wire or a piece of wood, such as a paintbrush or a chopstick for example. Add your wire around your creation. For this video, I'm using 20 gauge wire. Wrap it around your bus bar. Make sure it is long enough to fully submerge your object into the solution. But don't let your creation touch your copper coil or the bottom of your beaker. Next, you want to plug your wires. Connect the red wire to the red prong of your power supply. Do the same with the black one. Attach the red clip to your copper coil and the black wire to your pass bar. Before I turn my rectifier on, I turn all the knobs to the right except the one on the top left, which is turned all the way to the left. Once I turn my rectifier on, you can see that it is in CC mode. I turn the top button until I reach 0.2 or 0.3. It's better to start slow at the beginning and see how the copper forms on your item. After about 20 minutes, I turn off my rectifier to check on my item. If the piece has a salmony color, you should turn up the power. On the contrary, if the piece is brown or has big bumps on it, you should turn the power down. I put my item back into the solution and turn the rectifier back on. I leave my items for about 12 hours in the bath, sometimes longer. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you on the next video.